uh, the two weeks have passed uh, thought I'll give you all an update on the build so I'm working on the the wing kit and this is now week 9 and week 10 so this is Saturday and the coming up to the end of week 10 of the sling TSI build so I'm still on the wing kit um, I started uh, it's now third week uh, just about uh, almost on the on the wing kit a um, few things uh, to point out here I think uh, it is going quite well uh, there were a few hiccups <laughs> I'll come to that in a bit uh, the uh, yeah this one here is something to note that the uh, one of the rivets need to be shortened uh, so that that doesn't clash with that that rib uh, and the assembly on that rib uh, for the inspection inspection panel the uh, it, it was going quite well uh, quite smoothly uh, until um, I made a quite a schoolboy error in terms of the <laughs> in terms of the dimpling uh, of that bottom skin uh, you probably will see that I've got a uh, I've got the pito uh, the hole for the pito tube on my right wing um, uh, on the bottom skin I'll explain that in a bit um, but other than that it was going quite well uh, I riveted most of the frame together uh, in that first week um, pretty much e everything went quite well straightforward um, uh, and then uh, put on the bottom skin um, and start to clear code it in place uh, and that's when kind of realized that the mm, I have dimpled the, uh, the that whole bottom skin in the wrong direction um, and with, between the left wing and the right wing uh, um, the, the skins are the same apart from the the hole for the the pitot tube is only for the left uh, wing uh, so my right wing uh, I had to use the the skin for my which was intended for my left wing uh, on the right side uh, which meant that I had to patch up that hole yeah that was uh, uh, you know added a bit of work but I've now caught up with that uh, so uh, the once uh, yeah uh, the stringer and adding the wiring in uh, all that was quite uh, pretty straightforward um, uh, put in the the six core cable for the nav lights and uh, the two uh, uh, the thinner wire uh, you have two lengths of it for the landing lights and it's um, cable tied in place uh, along that stringer uh, this is something to note that uh, those four rivets on the top and four at the bottom needs to be done before the skin uh, goes on um, I made a mistake of uh, clicking the skin. I mean, uh, some of the rivets I had to take out actually to um, uh, put those rivets back in because uh, I had the bottom skin mostly or, or half of it on. Uh, and um, yeah, this is the one that I mentioned earlier. So you can see I had to shorten that rivet so that it doesn't clash with that. Um, uh, otherwise, you'll have a it will stick out when you rivet everything together. Yeah, back to the <laughs> back to the uh, um, the the hole for the pitot tube. So, uh, I spoke with Tim at the aircraft uh, at the airplane factory, and um, he sent me a patch uh, to put on there. And obviously, uh, once if you know, once I've dimpled and uh, put rivets in, it should look a, a clean uh, finish, and wouldn't cause any structural issue. Um, but it also meant that now I had to cut a patch for my uh, for the bottom skin that would go on my left wing but it wasn't that bad either so I just uh, traced that um, exact same profile uh, which was on the on the intended left wing and cut that out using a Dremel um, and then cleaned it up a little bit um, I initially thought maybe about four or five rivets probably are required um, yeah and ended up putting five rivets in I think uh, in the end uh, to get that patched up but now at least uh, both of my bottom skins are dimpled <laughs> and uh, uh, luckily that was the only difference between the the two skins um, uh, between the left side and the right side um, otherwise it would have been in a bit of a pickle
yeah with that done it was uh, then back to getting it all put um, riveting that together onto the onto the wing main assembly uh, you can see the the patch after it was put in place in the end I ended up with five rivets um, um, it's it's all uh, dimpled and uh, it's the 3.2 millimeter rivets um, and it looks kind of like an inspection <laughs> hatch, I would say. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I think once it's um, painted, you hardly notice that. Uh, I didn't want to have my Peter tube on the or, or under the right wing, uh, you know, in, in terms because of this mistake, and we'll always be reminded of it. But this way, at least, um, that's now, you know, patched up. And being a low wing aircraft, that's not going to be that visible all the time, uh, even if it's just painted over. Um, I'll fill those holes and uh, paint door when uh, that's to be done. Yeah, another another tip I picked from another builder is get some uh, really long uh, drill bits. Uh, I think these are a foot long, and uh, that makes it quite easy to get into tight spaces when you're trying to, if you're having to ever drill out rivets or things, uh, where the actual head of the drill will be in the way if you're using just a short one, um, uh, using a really long one you can get into tight spaces uh, where you don't where the head of the drill doesn't uh, interfere so I got the two uh, the commonly used the 3.2 millimeters and the 4 millimeter drill bit uh, drill bits for that and uh, yeah here are my the the leading edge skin is on, um, as you can probably make out from those images. Um, I've validated um, the those the bottom skin, the uh, the leading edge skin. The top skin is still in its with its plastic coating on. Uh, that's something for the, for tomorrow. I've got to uh, do that. Um, so the bottom skin is now all riveted uh, in place. Uh, everything is now uh, done. Yeah, I think the the leading edge skin is the next uh, bit to be done. Uh, I have to make sure that I don't rivet the. Uh, I can do it the the with the bottom one. The bottom skin is now on, but the top one I have to leave that top uh, top row. Um, I have to dimple that uh, the top skin in those area, those places where uh, where it is countersunk on the main spar. So along all this line, it needs to be dimpled that skin until the 4.8 millimeter rivets, uh, which start from that. Clico. Um, yeah, the uh, thing and also the the rear. Uh, I think the the yeah the end. Uh, there's another rib that goes on there, so that needs to be left uh, not riveted. Uh, but I can start off with the the leading edge. I think this rib in the latest build manual shows um, that this rib does is not needed. So probably have to get that confirmed and then drill that out if it's not needed when the fuel tank goes on but it shouldn't be that bad if uh, I'm not gonna revert that section anyway um, yeah so the so it will be the next step was, would be to the uh, to Aladine the top skin and uh, yeah, there was a few other rivets that I had to drill out and change direction so that it doesn't uh, clash with the flaps when assembled uh, with the the top skin I believe it should be the other way the root um, the root part of the skin needs to be on top of the top skin uh, I'll have to get that checked uh, the, it wasn't that very clear on the manual but it doesn't look that uh, quite right in this way so I'll get that I'll check that before I assemble that at the tail end of it I think it, this is correct this looks way of installation uh, where the the top skin kind of inserts into the rib in between the ribs and that bottom skin uh, again I'll have to check the manual uh, it's hard it's hard to see uh, uh, on the build manual exactly how uh, the overlaps are supposed to be and the uh, on the leading edge I still have to dimple that and that should sit, uh, sit flush also some of the rivets at the uh, on the rear end um, 
uh, to the end of that skin. I think I'll probably have to shorten some of those so that it doesn't it clears the aerons and the flaps when assembled. But yeah, other than that, it's looking good. So yeah, until next time, take care, everyone. Bye.